how to recover your corrupted files on the Insta360 after you've transferred it to your computer. Stick around. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael. Uh, and last Christmas, I picked up this little guy. This is the Insta360 camera, the X3. Uh, super cool. I went on a vacation this past week. Whoa. Went on a vacation this past week and used it uh, on the beach. And I came back and put it into my computer just using the, the SD card that's in here. Uh, pop this guy out, put it inside of my little adapter, and put it in the computer. Looked at it in the Insta360 Studio, and I renamed the files so that I would know what the files were. And then I tried to look at them again to edit them, and it just was corrupted. And I did a lot of research to figure out how to bring those back. I got very worried for a minute there. Um, actually, a couple hours. It took me a couple hours and a lot of Reddit threads in order to figure out what the problem was. And then I finally did figure out what the problem was. In the meantime, I tried to look up the YouTube videos to uh, help me out, and there weren't any. So I'm going to go ahead and create a video to go ahead and fix your corrupted files uh, if they have the same problem that mine did. So what I figured out was my problem was I renamed the files, and apparently you're not supposed to do that. Nowhere does it tell you you're not supposed to do that, uh, but yeah, so you're not supposed to do that. Don't rename the files. Uh, I did anyway, but I figured out how to fix it, and I'll show you right now. Uh, so basically, you're looking at a few different uh, folders on my screen here. This top left folder, uh, that is the compilation of videos that I wanted to add to my, um, that I wanted to edit. And I renamed them. Down here, we're looking at, uh, this is where the final product is going to go once we're done with everything. And then over here is my dump. It's going to be all the videos and all the, all the dumps that I did throughout, throughout the week. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you what the problem was. So when you click on the uh, videos, it either loads weird like this one does. It doesn't load how it would normally load or it will load not at all. So you go in here and it says fail to load files corrupted. It will be removed from list. Uh, and I freaked out, but there is a way you can get it back. It's the naming convention. You have to have the files in the similar places. Anyway, I'll show you that right now. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at the date created for the one that we want to do. You have to do each of these one by one. Um, we're going to look at the date created. So it's going to be 9-4-129. Uh, and I think I did it in uh, the dump five here. So I'm going to go ahead and look at dump five. And hopefully we can go ahead and find the 9 4 p.m. using the timestamp. So here's one. And then here's another one. All right. So these are my two INSV fi folders, files. Uh, and then this is the LRV, which stands for low resolution. So that one brings the two together. So anytime you record, at least in 5K, it's going to create three videos or th at least three files uh, for every one video that you do. One of them is for the front lens, one of them is for the back lens, and then one of them brings it all together. Uh, and that is the LRV. So we're gonna go down here to the final organized folder and we're gonna go and create a new folder called uh, skimboarding, because I believe that this one is uh, skimboarding. And we're gonna go ahead and drag the final video, uh, the, uh, the video that I wanted into this folder. Um, over here, we're going to go ahead and grab the 133, 129, 133, and then if we look at the date created, it's going to be 129, and we're going to grab these two folders, and we're going to bring them over here. Okay, so at least now we have the family together that's supposed to be together. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to rename all this stuff. Now, what do we rename it to? So the file convention uh, that Insta360 uses is the format and then the date, time, and then the number, and the number indicates which camera you're using, uh, and the index number, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so basically what I did here is I wrote a quick little program just to kind of make the name for me, but going down into it, it's going to be year, 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 month, month, day, day, and then over here, it's going to be uh, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Um, I, what I realized is that the seconds don't matter um, on this, so you can be zero, zero, because my Mac doesn't tell me what the seconds are. Um, so I just put in zero, zero, and it worked fine. Uh, so for your low resolution file, you're gonna have the LRV underscore and then date 
underscore time and then zero zero it's actually not going to be zero zero for the 5k so we're going to go ahead and change that so we're going to bring this over here we're going to rename these files the lrv first we're going to put it back to the way it was i don't know why i added a bunch of tabs um, but we have the file name here completely so we have the lrv matches the lrv date and then for the 5k uh, i figured out that it was 11. So that's going to be the file format. Um, I don't know what it is for other ones. You'll have to do some research, but uh, at least for the 5K, that's what it is. Um, and then for these guys, all we're going to do is we're gonna paste the copy of the file name, paste it, and we're gonna change this uh, to vid. Um, and that's going to be one of them. And we're gonna change this guy to 10. Now you can either change it to 10 or 00, zero depending on left side, right side, or front and back. Um, you're gonna have to test that. I don't know which one's the front, I don't know which one's the back, so I'm just gonna do the 10. And then the next one, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm going to paste it onto this one, and I'm going to label it with the zero, zero. So now I'm telling the program that one of these is front, one of these is back, and this is the overall one. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see if it works. And it looks like it does. So there we go. That is how you recover your corrupted files. Um, I'm glad we got it working. Uh, yeah, so that's the way you do it in the future. And now I know I'm going to create folders and put the individual files in the folders and not mess with their names um, because then I'll have to do this process all over again. Um, anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. Um, if you're interested in picking up the uh, 360 camera, uh, I'll have a link to it down below. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful at all. Again, uh, there were no there were no videos on this when I created uh, this, and this was a huge problem. I'm missing all my footage, so uh, I wanted to go ahead and do some research and upload a video for you guys so that you can not have to go through the same growing pains that I did. Uh, anyway, really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, really appreciate it. If you found any of the content useful, please hit the like button down below. Also down below, there are gonna be links to all the products that you saw today. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links, so it really helps out the channel when you guys click on those. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, appreciate it, and uh, have a good rest of your day.